The British supermarine attacker was a single-seat jet fighter. It was the first jet fighter that served in the Royal Navy's fleet air arm. It had a short service life in the Royal Navy, but went on to serve in the Pakistan Air Force. In 1944, the British Air Ministry issued specification E-1044, which called for the development of a jet fighter with a laminar flow wing and a single jet engine. Supermarine produced their submission, using a brand new fuselage, which featured bifurcated intakes that provided airflow to the Rolls-Royce Nene turbojet engine. The design used the laminar straight wings produced for the Supermarine Spiteful. Because of this, the design was initially referred to as the Jet Spiteful. The design would eventually be named the Supermarine Attacker, and was initially intended as a jet fighter for the Royal Air Force. Three prototypes were ordered in late August 1944, with the second and third prototype intended to be navalized versions. In July 1945, 24 pre-production aircraft were ordered. Six of these were intended for the Royal Air Force and the remaining 18 for the Fleet Air Arm. Problems in the development led to the stopping of the pre-production order, although work on the prototypes continued. Eventually, the Royal Air Force lost interest in the attacker, since it did not show significant improvements compared to the Gloucester Meteor and the de Havilland Vampire. When the Royal Air Force lost interest, Supermarine concentrated on a navalized version of the attacker. The first flight was made by the Type 392 prototype in July 1946. Extensive modifications were then made to the design, with a new tailplane arrangement and an increased internal fuel capacity. The attacker proved to be quite difficult to land on a carrier, due to the tailwheel undercarriage. The undercarriage also caused problems when the attacker took off from grass airfields. The first navalized prototype, the Type 398, flew for the first time in June 1947. Production orders were placed by the Fleet Air Arm in November 1949, and the first attacker F-1 production aircraft performed its first flight in May 1950. Deliveries began one year later. The attacker F-1 was armed with four 20mm Hispano Mark V cannons. Externally, it could carry two 1,000-pound bombs or four 300-pound rockets. The attacker F-1 entered operational service in 1951. Two more versions were produced. The FB-1 was a fighter bomber similar to the F-1, and the FB-2 which was equipped with a more powerful version of the Rolls-Royce engine. The FB-2 also had various structural modifications, and it could carry a larger weapons load. 146 production attackers served in the fleet air arm, and they never saw any combat action. The attacker was retired from Royal Navy service in 1957. The newly formed Royal Pakistan Air Force acquired the Type 538 Supermarine attackers in the early 1950s. A total of 36 attackers were operated by Pakistan, and some of them may have remained in service until 1964.